What is the present worth of Rs. 2310 due 2.5 years hence? The rate of interest being 15% per annum. So we have been given the future worth of this item. right? So we know that amount is basically the principal plus interest. And interest on principal in our case is the true discount, isn't it? Right. So amount is given that's 2310, which is equals to principal worth or the present worth is what we have to find. Plus, what is the formula for calculating the true discount? Well, that's PNR upon 100. So P times N is 2.5. So 2.5 times R is 15. So this is 15 upon 100. Right. Now, this can be written as 2310 is equals to P plus P into 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10 times 15 upon we have 100, isn't it? 25 times 4 is 100 and 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 times 2. So I have 2310 is equals to 4 to the 8, 8P plus 3P that's 11P by 8. Right, so P is equals to 2310 divided by 11 times 8. 2310 divided by 11 gives you 210 times 8. And that is equals to 1680. So the answer is option B, rupees 1680, which is the present worth. The true discount on a sum due two years at the rate 14% per annum is 168 rupees. What is this sum? Well, this sum is basically the future worth of this item. And the future worth of this item is often called the amount. Right? And amount is basically the principal worth plus the true discount. Isn't it? Principal plus interest on the principal. And interest, we call it true discount. Isn't it? So, to calculate amount, we need the principal. We have been given the true discount. So, principal plus true discount is 168. And how do you get the principal worth or the present worth? Well, from the formula of true discount, we get true discount is equal to PNR upon 100 and 168, which is the true discount, is equal to P into N is 2 years times R is 14 by 100. When you'll solve this, you'll get the value of P as 600. So P is 600 rupees. That means the present worth of this item is 600. So put that here. This will become 600 plus 168, right? And that will be 768 rupees. And this is the sum. So our answer is option A. The true discount on rupees 2562 due four months hence is 122 rupees. What is the rate percent? Well, we have been given the future worth that is the amount and that's 2562. So I can say that amount is basically the present worth plus the true discount, isn't it? Principal plus interest. Amount is 2562. Let's put that here is equal to principal plus principal is not known. True discount is known 122, isn't it? So 2562 minus 122 is 2440 is equals to the principal. Right? Now, what is true discounts formula? Well, true discount is equal to PNR upon 100, isn't it? So, from that we can get the formula for P. So, P is equal to, let's write it here, P is actually true discount times 100 divided by N times R. Right? On the left hand side we have 2440, isn't it? This 0 and this 0 cancels out. So, we have 244 is equal to true discount is given 122 times we have 10 divided by what is n well n is 4 months let's convert these months into years 4 months we have out of 12 months right so 4 by 12 years is the converted form of 4 months and that's 1 by 3 so this will be 1 by 3 times r correct now this 3 goes here right so I have R is equals to 122 times 10 times 3 divided by 244, isn't it? 122 times
times 2 is 244 and 2 times 5 is 10. So the rate is 5 times 3 that's 15 percent. So our answer is option C. The true discount on a bill due 9 months hence at 16 percent per annum is 189 rupees. What is the amount of the bill? Well, the amount is basically the principal amount or the present worth plus the true discount. That's the interest on the principal, isn't it? And amount is what we have to find. So I can write it as it is equals to what is principal? What is the formula for principal or the present worth? Well, true discount is PNR upon 100. So P will be equal to true discount times 100 divided by N times R plus this true discount, right? So true discount is given that's 189. So 189 times 100 divided by what is N? Well, N is 9 months. But 9 months, we have to convert it into years, right? Because the rate is per annum. So 9 months is 9 by 12 years, right? So 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 4 is a 12. So that's 3 by 4 years. So this is 3 by 4 times R is 16% plus the true discount is 189 okay now 4 times 4 is 16 so this can be written as 189 times 100 divided by 3 times 4 is 12 plus we have 189 this part when solved will give you 1575 plus you have 189 and 1575 plus 189 is equals to 1764 Right, so this is the amount or the sum of the bill. So option B is the correct answer. The simple interest and the true discount on a certain sum for a given time and at a given rate are 85 rupees and 80 rupees respectively. What is the sum? Well, we have been given the simple interest as 85 rupees and the true discount as 80 rupees. Right now, this simple interest is actually calculated on the sum. So, what is the simple interest on the sum? Well, that will be equals to the sum times n times r upon 100, the formula for simple interest, right? And that is 85. Let this be equation 1. Let's calculate the true discount. Now, true discount is given. What is the formula for true discount? Well, basically, when we say that we calculate a true discount on a certain sum, this sum is actually the future worth. So true discount is actually the, you know, the interest on the principal worth, on the present worth, right? So this can be written as P times N times R upon 100 is equal to 80. But we know that the sum or the final or the future amount is equal to principal plus the true discount isn't it so from this i can say that p is equals to the sum minus the true discount which is 80 so minus 80 times n times r upon 100 is equals to 80 let this be equation 2 right now we divide equation 1 by equation 2 so we get s times n times r upon 100 divided by s minus 80 times n times r upon 100 is equals to 85 by 80 right so this terms get cancelled out we have on the right hand side we can cancel out terms as well so 5 times 17 is 85 and 5 times 16 is 80 so we have 16 s is equals to 17 s minus 80 times 17 which is equals to 1360 right so i have s is equals to 1360 so the sum is 1360 and that is option c